Welcome back to Tech Tesla and Trends. There's talk about after watching the entire Neuralink uh, show and tell. I am utterly mind blown on a lot of items, and I'll put those into uh, a format later and discuss those in more detail. There is one point that I noted in the Q and A process, and a lot of people will criticize Elon for trying to explain things in a more simpler way and as he struggles to do so he uh, stumbles over words and other things like that but I he's doing his best to try and make it simpler for everybody not just the super intelligent people that are there but to explain it to your average Joe discussing the brain as a as a more of a, a water balloon with uh, inside a coconut with an orange rind protector. A pretty good description. Anyways, the part that I found very telling and useful as part of uh, looking at how the Neuralink leadership team that's presenting there interacted with each other. Watch this Q&A section and observe the level of integration and innate awareness of what each other can answer. What the topics are that are being discussed. As diverse as was covered, how each of them almost flawlessly look towards the individual who will end up answering that question. Or will allude to, I'm going to say something, somebody else may want to comment. This level of awareness of not only what you know, but of what your co-workers and their divisions are working on is vital within a, a multidisciplinary team such as Neuralink. was mentioned there was that if you've thumbed through a college degree path, there's somebody who has studied that working for Neuralink at this point. When you ponder that, you realize the true level of integration and teamwork that has been fostered and nurtured at Neuralink. This is not by accident. When you look at SpaceX, you see similar details. When you look at Tesla, you see similar details. You're going to see the same thing emerge at Twitter. Leadership is a quality that Elon possesses in spades, contrary to what the inane prattle from the rabble rousers in the mainstream media. Folks that in the Tesla Q community who want to complain about and pretend like there are no Teslas on the road or that demand is collapsing when we can clearly see that that's not quite the case in China. As you look at where Semi is, as it deploys tomorrow, and uh, as you look at all of the other things that are, are going to occur in the next few days and what have occurred in the past few days related to Tesla and where SpaceX is going and all of the other Elon companies, you look at the things that he was worried about in er, in the early part of the year, and you look at where he is today. In the early part of the year, they weren't talking about Semi. Cybertruck and uh, Robotaxi, which the more I look at, uh, one of the things that I caught in that interview with Franz was he was talking about how vehicles right now are four-wheeled for safety. The current designs makes me wonder if perhaps that compact will be not four, but three-wheeled. We'll see. Seems to be working for Aptera. Who knows? But when you look at where Tesla is, you look at where SpaceX is, and you look at where all the other companies that Elon is working with, they are succeeding including Boring Company, which most people don't hear much about. It's expanding routes and working as 
rapidly as digging underground can be, or boring a hole underground can be. At each level of every company that Elon is involved in, there is a level of teamwork that has developed. And you look and watch on that stage, they weren't necessarily looking to Elon to see what Elon would answer. They were looking at each other. They were communicating at a level of knowledge of their skill sets and what the other individuals on that stage knew. When the person asking the question asked it, they innately knew who was going to answer that question. That speaks volumes of the level of skill in leadership that exists at Neuralink. Beyond all of the other concepts and amazing innovations that are there, leadership is the number one item that I observed in that presentation. And if you watch, <laughs> Elon doesn't answer every single question. He just stands there. He's the conductor. And many people are going to make fun of the fact that he's just standing there. This is the quality of leadership when a leader is not required to answer. That speaks volumes about the people they have brought on. In the coming days, we're going to see the, the semi rollout. I'm not sure exactly how that one's going to play out. Solid Elon standing there sharing the, the wonderfulness or if they're going to go into the details and bring people out to, to tell about the wonders of, of Semi. But if they do, watch. Each of the individuals that they bring out will be very competent in what they are doing and they will integrate well with each other. Leadership is truly one of the more important qualities and blessings that Elon brings to any company that he works in and that he gives his time to. But the fact that Elon is playing at Twitter right now is a massively powerful, bullish message to the world about where Elon believes Tesla is at, SpaceX is at, and where Boring and Neuralink and wherever else the only place he's needed in the bottleneck is Twitter. That's food for thought. So tonight, I'll leave you with that. Love to hear you chime in on your thoughts on Elon's leadership. I know there's plenty of you out there that aren't fans. But the example, the proof is in the pudding. See you in the comment section.